guys, it's a proud cat lover, and today I'm going to be making a video about my new pet insect. So, I had made a video in the past, and I didn't really like how it turned out. And, um, the tank was up on the shelf up there, and it wasn't down here. So, you really couldn't see the insect pet, so I was like, I'm just going to make the video and get the tank down. So, this is their temporary housing until the tank that the Madagascar Hissing Cockroaches is in until that tank becomes available because they're going to be going in a tank that's going to fill up the entire space down here and I'll just tell you the measurements of it just because you can't really tell by looking at this spot but it's going to be 30 inches long it's going to be 11 and a half inches tall and it's going to be 14 or 15 inches deep so this is going to be a really big tank I won't have to worry about them getting overcrowded, especially with all the babies they're having, because it will be a huge space for them. It's going to have a couple of vents, which I'm going to get a type of um, either mesh, which I'm probably going to lean more towards mesh, but if mesh won't work, I'll get like a cheesecloth or, thumb or something. Something that will let air flow in and out of the tank, but it will not let the babies escape, because I'm not really sure what kind of vent the person that's custom building this tank is using. So anything that is big enough for the babies to slip through, I will have to get a type of mesh to put over the vent, which that is not expensive at all. So these are my two Luber grasshoppers. They are, I believe, if I remember correctly, Western Luber gra grasshoppers. And I have a male and a female in here. Sadly, the male lost his leg. It fell off really easily. Um, so I was feeding him some celery by hand. Like, he was sitting here, and I was feeding him some celery. Well, I had a long sleeve shirt on, so he crawled onto my long sleeve. And I guess he got spooked while I was feeding him. I'm not really sure what spooked him. So then he jumped onto my chest. Well, I put my hand, like, above his body, so that I could walk over to my mirror that I have to see where he was. Well, right as I walk over to my mirror, he jumps on the floor by the litter box. And, um, yeah, the leg popped off from him jumping on the floor. So I'm kind of sad because now his leg is gone, but it's really cool because look at the padding on that. Isn't that amazing? Like, that's just crazy. The padding on that foot. It's a, It just is bizarre to me because all the grasshoppers that I've ever seen, it's just flat and kind of um, dirt-like. Like the consistency, it feels hard like dirt. But those pads, when I touched it, it's like rubbery feeling. It is the weirdest thing, guys. But, um, so here's the female here, because I have a male and a female. I only know this because for two days, they, uh, were together. It's not like it's real loud or anything, but the male will flick his wings. And if you want to know what it looks like, you can just look it up on YouTube, because I looked it up too, just to make sure that's what was going on and that it wasn't like a dominance display kind of thing. So anyway, I know this one's a female because one, she is ginormous compared to the male, and also because now the male only has one leg, but here is the male here. I have never, I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of grasshoppers just because when I was young I was bit by one and it hurt really bad, but I've seen people handle them before, but um, mine are pretty skittish and like to jump a lot, as I just told you. Seeing, okay, she acts like she's going to start walking a little bit. I mean, if she can at least start walking, then, I mean, that's progress. They normally are okay with me touching them. Oh, this is the thing that they will do to each other. Like, they'll both do this little bouncing thing going on here that she just did. I don't really know if it's a way of communication between the two. But if she'll walk, then you can kind of get to see her a little bit more. I think she's going to come up here. But their antennas are cool how they're black on the tip, but then the rest is like a yellowish-orange color. They're a really neat-looking gra uh, grasshopper. They're actually not so much as native to Kansas, but there are some that you can find near the Oklahoma border. Because there's a person that... Uh, as a 4-H group, we went to this museum, and the people actually had caught some Luber grasshoppers. They were ginormous compared to these ones. Um, I just don't know. I know these ones are probably adults, I'm assuming, because they don't grow full wings. They can't fly. They only can jump. Female's not really going to be doing much. Hey, here's the male. He's kind of peeking out now. He's a really pretty yellow color. 
and he has these really pretty like rosy colored wings as you can see like she does too but hers are kind of just like more like that and his are real nice where they're just put together a lot more uniform looking poor guy see there's where his legs are missing I'm, I'm just feel bad that that happened and then this is their mix of food here we've got leafy greens and spinach and we've got some romaine lettuce I have a piece of celery in there as well as some carrots because I don't know if they like carrots or not. I haven't seen them eat it yet, but they tried some when I put it in there. Um, they like apple, and of course I've seen them eating on spinach before, so they like the apple and the spinach. I have not seen them eat on the romaine lettuce, so I'm not sure if they like it or not. And I just put the carrot in there as something new to try. So I'm tempted to try grape next because I don't know if they like grapes or not. But um, anyway, they the person told me they require... A UVB bulb. I looked online and was trying to find out if that was actually necessary. I couldn't find anything saying it was bad, but um, they really enjoy it. I was shocked that they love it so much. When I turn the UVB on in the morning with their heat lamp, because they have a heat bulb and a UVB, um, they go right under the UVB and they are under there almost the entire day. So they actually do enjoy it. So I'm glad that I spent the money and got it because they actually use it. So I was happy. And then this over here is their water dish, which you can't really see it. But I have a very shallow amount of water, which they've gotten dirt in there. <laughs> or the Eco Earth. Um, I'm going to have to get a little bit more Eco Earth in here. I need to buy some more. Because where I said where the female is now pregnant, um, they will lay their eggs in the soil. And I looked online to see what those look like. So just in case if I'm moving the soil around, I don't want to accidentally disturb the eggs. So if I see them, I'll stop. But, um... Like I said, once the hissing cockroaches get their new tank, these guys will get to go into that bigger tank, and that'll give them way more space. I have some cool decorations over here, which I'll get one and show you real quick. So this here is obviously a reptile hide that I got at um, PetSmart. It looks like this underneath, but I love how this looks. And when they go into the bigger tank, this will be their basking area. Like, this will be under the UVB and the uh, heat. So that, because even though I know this is resin, it's not real rock, resin still will absorb heat. So it'll offer a lot more of a hot spot for them because they do like it a little bit more on the warmer side. But I can't have the heat bulb running all night because I won't be able to sleep with that light on. And the crested geckos are over there and I don't think they'd appreciate that light. So I do, of course, keep the room at 70 degrees. So until the morning when I can turn the heat lamp on and it gets a little bit more like 75 to 80 they just have to deal with it being a little cooler in the evening. Obviously it's cold here in Kansas right now, but I can't wait. I have a few other things, but I'm just going to show this to you because this video is already super long. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'm still thinking of what I want to name them now that I know it's a boy and a girl. So, I mean you can suggest names if you want, but don't feel hurt if I do not pick your name, okay? Because <laughs> I don't want anyone to be like, well, you didn't pick my name, what's up with that? I'm sorry. Also, I'll update you real quick. Random part here on Sunset. His tank is looking beautiful, I'm so happy. One of the plants has a new leaf growing on it, which is awesome. So, and then of course my ground cover is doing good. I'm just glad it didn't die. I think the two LEDs that I have, because I've added one from my old fish tank, are helping the growth of both of them because when that one was just in the middle there was not enough light going in the tank period but for both the plants so anyway and I'll show you here he is beautiful looking his tail is getting better which I'm so happy so and I'm going to be adding a little bit of water because I usually have it right here and even though it's not very much higher it helps with the force of the filter back there because that's as low as I can get it to go and he doesn't seem to mind because like there's no filtration flow over here it's real still you can see the leaves are moving on this side on this side they're not so you can see how much still how much more still it is on this side and uh, he chooses on purpose to swim in this direct area like he'll go around in the back and I even saw him go in his cave the other day but he will choose to on purpose swim in front of the filter so I guess he likes the flow of the water I don't know but um, anyway guys, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry it was literally just all over the place. But I wanted to show you guys these new pets of mine because even though they're just grasshoppers, I still think they're kind of cool. And when they end up passing away, I will be able to add them to my collection um, with my entomology and stuff. So I'm excited too to see if we uh, get any babies. 
and um, how many because I don't really know how many baby grasshoppers they're going to have. I mean, I'm surely she can't lay more than 30 eggs, you know, I have no clue. So we'll find out. All I know is they're black with a yellowish orange stripe down their back when they're babies. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching and have a great day. Thank you.